So that's blocked off right there. What are you going to do, Tesla? It's blocked off. What are you going to do? You're going to go through it. So Tesla full self-driving supervised version 14 just dropped yesterday. And if you don't know what the hell that means, it means Teslas can drive themselves better than ever. And it was only rolled out to a few select Tesla owners out there. More like a few select social media influencers that always give positive spins to Tesla. But not here, folks. We're telling you exactly like it is. Elon Musk has been quoted absolutely absolutely going insane for this new version of full self-driving coming out. He's always quoted to be saying that it's almost sentient. So let's go ahead and take a look at full self-driving version 14 and see how good it really is. Is it really sentient? You guys let me know in the comments. Whole Mars catalog been testing FSD for a long time. Always gets the brand new updates. Let's see what he has to say. It says, I was impressed by the way Tesla FSD 14 headed straight for the highway exit after the construction zone ended rather than making lane changes one at a time and missing the exit all right so here's the construction zone and they're all the way to the left so so far so good just maintaining a good speed oh yeah that was a really good move right there just like go ahead and exit and reroute right on the first exit pretty aggressive but there was no one there on the oncoming side i mean on the right side so go for it so this is from sawyer Merritt. two police cars came up behind me tonight with flashing lights and sirens while i was using fsd 14 in my model y and fsd pulled to the side of the road until they passed and it was safe to continue pretty cool pretty standard some sirens behind you what would you do you'd have to pull over of course and let's see how the Tesla pulls over. Love it perfectly. That was just like a human to me. All right, this is from Devin Olson, FSD 14, hunting through a busy Costco parking lot to find a parking spot. With my car right now, I'm in version 13. I still have to look for the spot and then tell the car, go park in that spot. I guess the new upgrade, it just goes and finds a spot for you. Let's see how it does. That's hilarious. He's got the robot just chilling right there. Well, he's not. We're taking it. There you go. So Costco parking, like a little bit of a hiccup at the start, but like this shows you what it can do. Boom. Nose and parked. And it's uh, parking forward now. That's pretty cool. Because right now it takes a long time for the parking. When you hit auto park, it's going to take its sweet time. And it's going to back in there. So it's going to go forward past it and back into it, taking its sweet time. But that was pretty aggressive. And looks like it was a really good angle too. It's like right in the middle of the lane. It's pretty cool, guys. I can't wait to get it. All right, here's from Chuck Cook. And it's about... Uh, uh, unprotected left turn so this this right here is one of my big problems with fsd right now it's the right turns and the left turns because it doesn't have cameras that point directly that way so sometimes i don't feel like it sees far enough to the left or the right in order to make a good enough decision let's take a look how fsd 14 handles these left and right turns now from my back quarter panel Looks like he's doing an unprotected left-hand turn too, and he already went, so maybe I misjudged the traffic once again. But there's our full nits of stop, so we don't know. Coming out, we're gonna creep. No, we got a little bit of traffic this time. And it's coming from both directions, so he actually took- Okay, so I, I know exactly where I can test this out. And yeah, this kind of the left turn, or even a right turn at this road, I wouldn't, I'd just go ahead and disengage. I wouldn't trust the car at this point, my car at least with version 13. But let's see how version 14 handles it, y'all. Small gap there, that car chose to wait. 
and we're just going to wait, wait, wait. And there's a, some big gaps coming from the left and the right. So I think this is going to work out. What will be interesting to see and what has happened in the past after the car calculates that car trajectory, does it pre-roll? And there's a pre-roll. Did you see that? A little right turn, a little left turn. And we need to join the median on this one because there's cars there. Now the left lane is open and aggressively it joins the left lane into traffic, which Ooh. it used Ooh. to not do because it was worried about these lane changes. Uh, so that was a really good one. I would say um, it was safe. And, and the most impressive thing is the way it coordinated its trajectory after the determination of that car, either doing a U-turn or a left turn into traffic. Here's something I've always had a problem trusting a Tesla to do is when I'm on the freeway and there's any kind of debris on the freeway, because when I started using FSD right around version 12, it would just go right through whatever was on the freeway. It didn't care about debris at all, or even potholes to be more accurate. So I would just always make sure that I take over if there's any kind of debris or potholes. I never tried it with version 13. I always just take over. It's interesting to see what version 14 can do. This looks like the onboard Tesla cam right here, and it's really low res. But um, yeah, there's some piece of debris right there, and it just went out of the lane into the shoulder to avoid it. Before, if something like that were to appear in the road, I just take over immediately. But that was pretty good, pretty slick. So that's blocked off right there. What are you going to do, Tesla? blocked off what are you gonna do you gonna go through it oh no if, if this was me i'd be freaking out right now i'm like why are you driving toward the gate whoa so it went right to it and then decided what are you gonna do what are you gonna do tesla that's just driving backwards now so it's looking for another exit and this guy's talking to his dad while the car is looking for a new exit. And then got another right turn. Oh, left turn. And good job. Not only can FSD 14 pull into my gravel driveway, no version has done this. It can pull into the garage what well i definitely want to try this because my garage it's an art to park the car in there because they got a lot of stuff in my garage it's packed to the brim so it'll be interesting to see how it deals with my garage but let's see how it deals with dirty tesla's garage i checked this out everybody not only is the new fsd version 14.1 able to pull into my driveway which is something that no version of fsd has ever even attempted to do it can go one step beyond that so here we go puts on the turn signal, pulls directly into my gravel driveway off of a dirt road. Like I said, no prior version of FSD has even attempted that. It usually just keeps going around the circle, which is fun as well. But as you can see, the garage door is open here and it's going to attempt to even park in the garage. It's not gonna attempt, it's gonna do it. So we pull right up to the messy garage here. So my garage is the same the way, self -driving full of crap. You can see there, we pull up, bring up this camera for you. And boom, we are parked in the garage. It could pull forward just a little bit more, but wow, really cool to see. That was insane, y'all. Parking in a parking lot, but a uh, fully packed garage, kind of like that. That's like my garage. If we could do that, geez, I wouldn't need to ever take over. Why would you ever need to take over if you could do the parking lot and park in your garage? So what do you guys think? It looks like FSD 14 is a huge advancement over 13. It looks like for a lot of my trips, I wouldn't need to actually take over. It could just drive the whole way, all the way to the parking lot and park itself and then home and park it in my garage that's pretty insane and also the other thing that was huge for me is the debris on the highway or potholes that was pretty cool that it just handled it perfectly because with my current car those are only the three times that i take over is when i'm gonna park in the parking lot and if there's debris or potholes or anything that comes up in the highway number three is when i have to park in my own garage and if you could do all that then i guess theoretically i wouldn't need to 
ever touch the steering wheel. So we shall see when I actually get the full download of FSD 14. Did that feel sentient to you? Was that like a real human? Let me know in the comments. Peace. Thanks for tuning in to AK Slots. Go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe.